the 2023 Kia Sorento X-Line EX. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm back at Kia of Riverdale, New Jersey and we're taking a close look at the 2023 Kia Sorento in the X-Line EX trim with all-wheel drive. At the front, this has Kia's signature tiger nose grille and its edges are finished in gloss black. The inserts have a flat gunmetal finish and this is exclusive to the X-Line. The headlights are LED with three reflector beams in the housing. The incandescent turn signal is tucked into the corner and below is the LED daytime running light. There's one small opening just below the grille and then a much larger one underneath to allow air to flow into the turbocharged engine. The lower part of the bumper is finished in gloss black with a flat black outline around it. There's two fog lights on each side and they're stacked vertically just like the ones on the Telluride. At the very top of the grille, there's a sharp crease along the top edge of the car that really gives it a more rugged and squared off look. Turning to the side, you'll find blacked out side mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. Just below, you'll find an X-Line badge going from the fender into the front door. The whole bottom has flat black cladding with an integrated reflector inside the front wheel arch. At the very top, you have raised roof rails finished in black and flat gunmetal. The window trim has a glossy gunmetal finish with an interesting design element in the rear quarter window where it comes up a bit to a point. The B pillars are all finished in gloss black. The overall design of the side profile of the car is rugged. There's a sharp crease running from the headlight straight back to the taillights and an indentation at the bottom of the doors. The overall aesthetic is boxy and looks very modern. Taking a look at the wheels, this is a 20 inch 10 spoke alloy wheel finished in matte gray. This wheel is also exclusive to the X-Line. The tires this is riding on are 255-45 Continental Cross Contact All Season Tires. Turning to the rear, that boxy aesthetic continues. So at the very top is a mini trunklet spoiler that extends out from the roof and underneath they were able to hide the rear windshield wiper. This really cleans up the look of the rear glass. This split taillight housing also has a very squared off shape to it. These lights, however, are halogen bulb with incandescent turn signals, so you'll have to step up to the SX to get full LED. That sharp crease from the side profile wraps along the top of the taillights and extends across the entire rear. The rear has a very sculpted look with a big concave in the middle of the rear liftgate. The bumper is finished in flat black and has integrated reflectors along with the reverse lights and at the very bottom is a gunmetal skid plate. Opening up the power liftgate, the cargo area behind the third row is 12.6 cubic feet of space with storage underneath the floor and a 12 volt outlet. Behind the second row, you now have 38.5 cubic feet of space. And then after dropping the second row electronically with the buttons in the rear, you have a total of 75.5 cubic feet of storage space. And a quick shout out to this video sponsor, FitCam X. FitCam X is a custom hardwired 4K dash cam that is made for your specific car's interior with no exposed wires showing. And it connects to your phone via the FitCam X app. And they're offering all my viewers 10% off everything on their site using promo code OPTICAL. Link in the description. Taking a look under the hood here is a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine putting out 281 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque. And that's paired with an eight speed dual clutch transmission with all wheel drive. Fuel economy ratings are combined 24 miles per gallon. That's 22 in the city, 27 on the highway and the capacity of the fuel tank is 17.7 gallons. If you're enjoying this review, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more weekly videos. The interior of the Sorento is both modern and upscale, offering a lot of amenities even though it's only a mid-level trim. The dashboard is covered in a soft touch material with faux stitching, and just below is a very real looking faux wood trim. This takes cues from the Telluride. The door panel is soft touch on the entire upper with a small silver strip dividing the two sections. There's more of the wood trim around this rounded door handle. It's a faux metallic finish, but it's also very believable. The armrest is a stitched leatherette and there's a very hefty grab handle on the door. At the bottom, you'll find an integrated reflector along with some cup holders. The steering wheel is Kia's latest steering wheel design. It's covered in leather with white contrast stitching and has a bit of gloss black at the bottom. The buttons to the left control audio and phone functions, and the buttons to the right control the center gauge display, along with lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control. Up above is a set of analog gauges with a small LCD screen in the middle. It has a speedometer and it can tell you tire pressure information. 
The seats are made of Kia Syntex material, which has these really nice triangular shaped details in the perforations, and the front seats are both heated. In the center is a 10 and a quarter inch infotainment touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, AM FM Sirius XM radio, Bluetooth audio, backup camera, and navigation. Safety features include forward collision avoidance assist, blind spot collision avoidance assist, rear cross traffic avoidance assist, lane keep assist, and intelligent speed speed limit assist. Down below on the center console, you'll find three USB-A ports and a wireless charger. And you'll find your buttons for drive mode selection, auto stop start, parking brake, etc. The air vents are different, certainly a unique design. The climate controls are physical buttons, but they're covered in gloss black, so you'll have to keep it clean. This Sorento has the base six speaker audio system. Let's take a listen. Overall, it's pretty decent. It doesn't cause the doors to rattle at high volumes, and the sound has decent clarity and balance. Storage space is plentiful with a large center console and a large glove box too. Up above is a massive panoramic moonroof to let in lots of sunlight. Now sitting in the second row behind myself, I have plenty of room to spare. There's 41.7 inches of legroom. The two front seats have pockets and a fishnet pocket on top, along with USB ports in the seats. The second row has captain's chairs with more fishnet pockets on the sides. Down below in the middle, you have two air vents along with a 12 volt and another USB-A. Also, something I thought that was noteworthy to mention was that the carpet was on the plush side and much higher quality than most non-luxury cars. Now back in the third row, my knees sit pretty high up, but there is a tiny bit of room to spare. It's rated at 29.6 inches and both sides have cup holders and a USB-A port. MSRP of this Sorento X-Line EX with all-wheel drive is $41,800. Big thank you to Kia of Riverdale in Riverdale, New Jersey for letting me come out today to show you guys the Sorento. They're located right off Route 23, so stop by if you're in North Jersey or the New York City metro area. And when you get there, make sure you ask for Mustafa. Let me know your thoughts on the Sorento down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend and subscribe. It'll really help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let me know in the comments what vehicles you want to see on the channel next. And be sure to follow at Optical Automotive on TikTok. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.